Wait, do you have a, um, a comp for uh, Justin Jefferson? Do you like uh, getting a little bit of story? Well, I, I, I told the defense, I said that, you know, he's one of the top two receivers in this league, and he's not number two. So uh, he is, uh, he's, he's had a phenomenal year. Their whole offense has. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, one of those things that they, they throw him the ball, and he could be in double or triple coverage, and he still catches it. So I know it's fun for the fan to watch. It's not very fun for the defensive coordinator to see. Are you trying to stop him one-on-one -on -one, you know, with one guy? Is that just like something you can't do in this game? I don't want to say you can't do it, but it's, like I said, you can double and triple team him, and he still catches the ball. So. If you are going to any type of one-on-one -on -one situation, you better pick the right spot to do it. So, uh, you know, I, I think that you got to keep things spinning uh, for Kurt, you know, back there. Because if you just sit in one one simple front and coverage, he'll he'll, he'll tear you he'll tear you apart. Wait, what what kind of message did the comeback the Vikings made last week allow you to give to your team? I mean, everybody sees it. It's it was, it was the first in NFL history, right? Uh, you know, and that just tells you how explosive their offense is. Um, you know, I, I just it's 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 going to be a great challenge. But this yeah. game in particular, with their receivers, how important is it for the four of you to make sure that Cousins doesn't have time to hit those guys? Yeah, I mean, they have the, one of the best wide receivers in the league right now, and um, just don't we we talked about it as a unit the only way we're going to be able to stop him, and not the only way, but one of the ways that we can affect um, having playing against the best wide receiver in the league is us affecting the quarterback.